This image is straight from an unmodified camera. Let's compare it to our deep black and white filter. The, our deep black and white filter captures the deepest portion of IR spectrum and so the exposures are quite a bit longer. Anywhere from two to four uh, stops longer is normal compared to our color filters. But it does capture you know, quite a bit darker skies and brighter foliage straight out of the camera which a lot of photographers like since they don't have to mess around in Photoshop. Uh, and of course that's also the drawback since you don't have color between the foliage and the sky elements you can't uh, control your image as well as you could with the color filters if you were to wa if you wanted to modify this image you could have to do this globally or make a really intricate you know painstaking selection of just the sky or the foliage in order to be able to manipulate those separately but with one with our other filters you are actually able to do this with the colors for example, with a standard color filter, you can f use the channel mixer. Let's go to image adjustments and uh, channel mixer. And if we take the red channel and turn that to 0% and blue to 100, and I'll switch over to the blue output channel and do the opposite, red at 100 and blue at 0, and you end up with a blue sky image and just a little bit of a yellowish, um, brownish tint, tint to the to the foliage and that's pretty much all you can do uh, with the standard filter and a lot of people like this type of a color and of course you can use the Im go to image adjustments and the hue saturation control and you can basically fine-tune the hue of the color of the sky for example and you can also increase the saturation if you like or of course desaturate the image now with our enhanced filter you get you have a little bit more color in the sky and in the foliage so if we do the exact same thing image adjustments and channel mixer and flip those channels let's go to the blue output make the red 100 and blue 0 as you can see the skies are a lot bluer and you have a bit more color in the foliage but still you don't have as much control as you would for example with our super color filter with the super color filter you have quite a, a bit of color in the foliage as well as the sky and those colors happen to be uh, very different from each other so you can actually do quite a bit first let's show you the the channel swap real quick with the channel mixer 0 for red, 100 for blue, switch to the blue output 100 for red and 0 for blue. Let's click OK. As you can see the foliage comes out in a golden yellow tone and the sky is a blue. And of course you can further increase the contrast with the hue saturation control over here which we're not going to do right now. I want to show you something else. A lot of people were asking you know how can I make my image look like a standard image for example you know what I mean is how do you mimic the standard IR filter with the super color filter and the way you would do that is basically if you would go to image adjustments and hue saturation and here instead of the master where where you have all the colors together let's go ahead and select the the yellows in the foliage and we can also use the eyedropper to fine-tune that selection and let's take the saturation control and take it all the way to the left and basically we're desaturating this the foliage and let's take the lightness control since it's going to make it a little bit muddier and drag that all the way to the right to to brighten that image up again and as you can see it looks like a standard filter you know with a little bit more saturation in the sky and we can also find finally adjust that you know lower the saturation if we like and it'll pretty much look like our standard filter now if we, if we wanted to make this and I just controlled Z to undo my changes uh, if we want to make this look like a, a like a deep black and white filter here's where the beauty of the super color filter comes in basically since you have the different co uh, colors between the sky and the foliage you can fine-tune exactly how you want your image to look so let's go ahead and go to layer and let's create an adjustment layer and this is going to be the black and white adjustment layer let's click OK and basically on the right under adjustments you have all these uh, sliders that you can control the various colors individually and how they affect your black and white image so since we have uh, blue in the sky if we take the blue lever and drag it to the right we can brighten up the sky if we drag it to the left we can darken the sky 
I'm sure you can already see the advantages of this. So you can individually control the sky element from the foliage. So let's go ahead and make this a really nice dark sky. Now we, if you remember the ye we had yellow foliage. So if we take the yellow slider and drag it to the right, you see how we can uh, uh, brighten up the foliage separately from the sky. So you can create the deep black and white look. As you can see this is the deep black and white filter and this is the super color filter that we've just adjusted and you can fine tune you know just the right amount of uh of colors that you want you know by j adjusting these sliders excuse me not colors but um contrast that you prefer so you can make these images you know as contrasty as you like which is really wonderful and and the adjustments are quite simple in photoshop so you don't really need to know a lot in order to be able to do this correctly our full spectrum filter is designed more for specialty applications with our more, most common uses would be for forensic and um, astronomical photography. And basically the filter is clear so it passes UV, visible and IR and uh, allows you to capture all three with your camera. And this of course would be, require using filters in front of your sensor or in front of your lens to block out certain frequencies and only allow you know the ones that you desire to pass say UV only or visible only or AR only this allows you of course to use the same camera for more than one wavelength but at the same time will restrict you to using filters in front of your lens and on older cameras since you don't have live view the IR filters will pretty much block your viewfinder making it much harder to focus and compose and meter the super blue filter allows you to capture images like this straight out of the camera so you don't need to resort to Photoshop in order to create the the blue sky effect as since then you don't need to do the channel swap because the image comes out blue like this straight out of the camera which is kind of amazing and it's never been done before in AR photography where well, this filter is actually what it's capable of doing is it's taken two pass bands so it's actually capturing the blue portion of the spectrum along with the IR and nothing in between so you're actually capturing the actual blue sky that exists in a normal scene but since none of the other colors are available it's even more saturated and crisp than normally would you know you would normally have in an unconverted camera now because the saturation is so great you have even more control with your black and white conversions so you can basically drag around these each one of these levers to fine-tune your image exactly how you would like it to look and uh, because it's so colorful you can actually mimic any of our other filters using that filter the only thing that I'd like to mention is there is going to there is going to be a little bit of blue fringing on the edges between the transitions with the from the IR light to the blue light since they both focus at a different point. 